This is my first and last time doing jerseys with a button on. They have the button down the middle of it. Oh, this has been such a such a hectic job. There's no way to screen print them, so you have to use vinyl, which I kind of hate fooling with vinyl. And I don't really have a technique to do this. I just kind of, just kind of do it and hope for the best. have a towel under here. I don't have a Teflon pillow. I guess maybe if I invest in one it'll um, it'll make things a little easier doing things like this. But right now I just I just line it up with the edge. Light up the best I can with you know with that and I grab my Teflon sheet and I press for about five seconds and it's kind of hard to get it uh, to go down because I have so much under here and I'm being lazy didn't want to have to readjust that so once I do that let it cool just a little bit. Peel that off. Put the red one on here. And they don't come out perfect every time. It depends on which way the, the vinyl wants to melt. Okay, I do them one at a time. Cause once I have this one adjusted to the to the place that I want it, sometimes the other side will mess it up a little bit. Yeah, I have it on here. And then I press it for about five seconds. Then I take the other side off and because it's not Underneath here, it's probably not stuck. You have to be careful when you're peeling it to make sure that you don't mess that part up. Then you line up the other side. And then I press that one. Alright, and it also has a number on the front. And this number is lined up. Hey, can y'all be quiet? I'm making a video. This number is lined up with the button that's right beneath the logo. And I use the end of the K for guidance. And place my sheet over it. I really need to loosen it up, but I'm almost done. Now I had 13 to do. I have about four left. So I do that for 12 seconds. I usually count it off in my head. I have a timer, but it's quicker just to count it off in my head. And plus, I'm going to repress them at the end, so it's not going to 
hurt much. All right. Yeah, Teflon pillow probably would save me some time on fooling with this towel, but hey. And these jerseys are kind of dingy. They would like that when I open them. I don't know. Hopefully the person who brought them to me knew. But they came out of a package already like that. Okay, now I get my T-square. And I use my T-square to um, line it up. And I guess this the buttons in the middle do help a little because you can use it to line it up. I guess they could be off a little. I'm going to go with that. It's lined up on the buttons. Let's see. Yeah, it's lined up on the button, so I'm going to go with that. And it would have been easier to um, put, you know, have the numbers on here already lined up. And look, this is what I did. I messed up on my cutter and ended up having to use double-sided tape to put the new two on there. And I made sure it was lined up perfectly. But I, that's some things that I learned to do, you know, when you're working and you make mistakes to keep from costing you money more money because the whole idea of it is to make money let me make sure I got my crease down right I always crease it just so I can line it up easy yeah, it's right there and make sure it's straight I take that Teflon sheet. Double check this right here because it looks like it could be a little. Okay. All right. Perfection is that work? All right. Looks better to me. So we go ahead and press. It. And this is time consuming doing the jerseys and personalizing and and all so you have to make sure to charge extra for that. Let me see. I forgot this uh oh it's on there pretty good, but I'm gonna put this on here just to make sure everything is even. And it's pressing all the way, the whole number. Yeah, make sure it's getting good contact with it. I probably should bolt this down to the table because it continuously slides while I'm doing it this way. my kids watching YouTube over there on the other side all right now I'm gonna flip it over since I pressed this side first I'm gonna peel this should be cool enough I'm gonna peel this off oh no that one didn't stick that's the first that's the first When that happens, this is what I do. Uh, well, actually, that's the first for that to happen, but sometimes I do this. I put the tile under here.
Hello? Not since earlier they came by here. I don't know. Where you at? You in town? All right. I had a phone call interruption, but I did fix this, and that part actually fixed itself onto that, so I won't have to cut it. But now I can peel that on off. Peel everything off. This is a uh, the Econo film. It's actually a warm peel. And they are actually discontinuing this. Well, look like I didn't get that part good. Let me press that one more time. See what I'm telling you? It's tedious. No more buttons. No more button ones. Might have to loosen that up a little bit. All right, that should have got it. Oh, it's pretty hot. That cool just a little bit more. But that's pretty hot. All right, now got that all off. So now what I do, I go back through and button it, unbutton it. And I press it about five to seven seconds. And now the side with the buttons on it, you just line it up to where the buttons are off so you can get a flat surface to press it on and make sure I slide it in. And I like how when you press it like this, it has the uh, pores in there from the mesh. That's it. So we got the back of the jersey. <laughs> I didn't realize that was going to be bad. Was the back of the jersey? Then let me button it up so you can see what the front looks like. And the front of the jersey. When it's buttoned up, it'll go together better. But yep, that's pretty much it. I'm just about done, but I'm I'm not gonna go through all of them with you guys because that would take too long. But you pretty much get the idea. So if you ever had to do something like this where you was using the um the button-up shirts and you have to use vinyl. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.